Hello, this is Michelle the Music Mom. So glad you can join me today. Oops, I've got my finger in the way, so I'm trying to get that out of the way. There we go. Anyway, I'm here in the car and I'm waiting on my daughter and her girlfriend to get done with trying some clothes on. I do not like shopping very much. No, I do not. Mm -mm. I went in there, chose some items for my daughter, and I said, okay, go find some more of your own. So she's in there with her friend and they're going to try them on. And when they're done trying them on, I'm going to go in and see, give that second approval, and then we'll get the purchases done. So I thought I'd do the video. Hey, killing two birds with one stone. Great job. Multitasking. I love it. Anyway, today I'd like to share you a TMI tag that Spanky Cola tagged me on some while back, way at the beginning of June. So now that I'm back from my long vacation, I can answer it. So thank you, Spanky Cola, for Rhonda, aka Rhonda, for um, letting me do this tag. I do like doing tags. Just like Bless Jess, I, I don't mind doing tags. I think they're fun. I like to learn about everybody. So we're going to get started. It's not as many questions as that 100 question, but it's half that. 50. Okay, here we go. What am I wearing? Well, right now I am wearing, um, let's see, everything's practically black. I have a black and white like scarf vest on, uh, a black uh, t-shirt, and yes, it's hot out, and why am I wearing black? And I have also got uh, black crop pants. But all the things that I have on are very breathable and very light. So, oh, and I also have flip-flops. Well, not flip-flops. Sort of like flip-flops on. They're black. So I guess I'm in a black mood today. Hmm. Usually when I wear black, hmm, not a good thing. It means I'm usually a spitfire. And I'm being a really big spitfire today. So sorry. Here you are. You're lucky. You got me. Have I ever been in love? Hmm. A few times, but right now, he is the love of my life. My husband. Love him, love him, love him. He's a great man. Have I ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I have had a couple of really, really bad, terrible breakups that, um, yeah, wasn't good, wasn't good. How tall are you? Well, I'm between 5'5 five five and 5'6. Five it depends on my days. I, I don't know. It's absolutely true, because sometimes I go to the doctors, I'm 5'5 five, five something, and sometimes I'm 5'6. I don't know. How much do you weigh? As of today, I'm 200.4 pounds, and I'm on my way back to happy, healthy goal weight. Any tattoos? No, I don't. My daughter-in-law has loads. My son doesn't. Nobody really has any in our house. Um, with the color skin that I have, I'm very fair. My fear is when I get older, it's going to be pretty not look good on, all on me. Any piercings? Yes. I've got three in one ear and two in the other ear must have been the trend. Actually, I want to tell you a story about that. When I was in college, my roommate, well, I didn't have a roommate. Okay, my next door mate, we were allowed to have single rooms at the college we were at. And of course, at the time in college, you don't have a whole lot of money. So my next door neighbor, who's also a friend of mine, uh, we would go to the store, the mall, the mini mall that we had. And we would go ahead and say, hey, if you get this earring, uh, I'll pay for half of it if you take one earring and I'll take the other. And it's like, perfect. So then we would do half, one side each and let that heal. And then we'd save up money and we'd get the other side. So we obviously only did it three times because when I was younger, I had my first holes put in. So then three more times we'd split. Silly, but you know, it worked for us. It was fun. You know, just one of those silly fun. OTP, the perfect pairing. Let me see. I think the perfect pairing is Mickey and Minnie, um, Donald and Daisy. Get where I'm going. Those are the perfect pairings. My husband and I. I know we're not a TV show, but you know what? We're perfect pairings. My favorite show. I have. I don't watch any shows now. I really don't. I haven't watched TV in ages. But if I said anything, I, I, I enjoyed The Mentalist. I, I, I like uh, Castle. Um, any of that, you know, dry, quick wit that 
but it's not really dry. I mean, you have to be on to get it. I love that type of humor. I don't like slapstick humor what's right in your face. So those are my shows that I like. Favorite bands. I really don't have a favorite band right now. Yeah, I know. Music teacher? Right. Don't have a favorite band. I listen to so much. I just love music, period. But in college, The Cure, U2, um, The Smiths, The Smithereens, uh, Violent Femmes. Yeah. Can we say The Punker? The Alternative Punk Rock Girl? Yeah, that was me. So I like those songs. Um, you know, but at the same time, I loved Garth Brooks. I, Garth Brooks. I enjoyed, believe it or not, Dolly Parton. I love that lady. She's just so sweet, so adorable. Um, I mean, I am all over the gamut. If you want to go like to Philip Glass, if you want my classical music and some bizarre stuff, I love Mozart. I love, oh my gosh. Don't talk to me about music. I'm a music teacher. I'm strange. Even my students say so. Ah, something you miss. Oh, goodness. That's a hard one. I don't know what I miss. I think I miss when my kids were a little bit younger and I was so busy with life. I miss their childhood, and I would like that back so I could have more time with them as children. I love them as adults. Don't get me wrong. They are great adults, and, and my younger ones, I'm really enjoying them. But I just really miss that that I didn't spend as much time as I wanted to. That I miss. Favorite song? <laughs> yeah. Not happening here. I have too many, and they're all over the gamut. You know, it's like um, Picture View from The Cure. Um, um, I love Newsboys, God's Not Dead. Um, uh, then you go to uh, opera pieces, and I love uh, Minotti's uh, Black Swan. And then you go to uh, uh, musicals, and I, I really love uh, Castle on a Cloud and so forth. And from, uh, so, <clears throat> it's hard. So I can't give you just one. Zodiac sign. Oops, excuse me. Skip number 13. How old am I? 48, and I'm proud to be 48. I've earned every wrinkle, every crease, everything. And I am beautiful. And by the way, my legs are designer legs. They don't have varicose veins. They have designs. They're designer legs. Zodiac sign. I am a Taurus, and I am full of bull most of the time. Quality you look for in a partner. I look for someone that is loyal, honest, faithful, kind, and loving. Those are really important. Favorite actor. I have several. Um, bless his soul. Uh, I loved Robin Williams. He was very talented in all areas. Just very talented. Uh, Denzel Washington. Um, Tom Hanks. So there are several. And actresses, I would say uh, Julia Roberts. Uh, oh goodness, I'm going blank. I have several of them. Uh, favorite color. Right now, I like the bright and the bold. I change my colors depending on my moods and of times of the uh, times I'm going through in my life. I like the bright yellows and oranges. They're just very cheerful to me. Loud or soft music? Depends on the day. I like soft, soothing music when I'm working and not uh, concentrating on uh, things. Loud music? Oh, I love loud music. So, like them both. What do you do when you're sad? Pray. Pray. That's what I do when I pray. I'm sad. Pray and ask God to carry me, which he already is. Uh, how long does your take? How long? Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Gosh, it's easy to read it with the eyes, but to speak it, ooh, ooh. Anyway, how long does it take to take a shower? It depends. If I have to shave, it takes me a while. I have these really uh, horrible feet that I have to scrub because they peel all the time, and it's just what I have with my feet, so I have to really pay attention to my feet. So if I've done that already a couple times during the week, those showers can be a quick, quick um, 10 minutes. If not, I'm a half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready? Same thing. I could be ready in the morning in 
five, ten minutes. My husband says I'm lying, I'm sure. But I could take up to an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how fancy I need to be and where I'm going. It just depends. Yeah. And how fancy I want to do my hair. It just depends. Right now in my life, I would prefer to be done as quick as possible. I don't know if that just showed up, but I just got a text from the girls. So I'm going to come back and finish some more questions in a little bit. I wonder what they picked out. All right. Made the purchase. They're happy. My daughter, her friend didn't get anything. And I'm sorry, we don't have our kids go on video. They, it's just something what it is. Otherwise, I would have you have her show it. But then she got this cute gray t-shirt. It's hard to do this one with one hand, you know. Cute gray, uh, yes, as you see from Ross. Gray t-shirt with the white trim. And then she got, oh, this is going to be so cute on her. There's the trim around the arms. And it's a um, sleeveless shirt. It's, oh, look at that floral from Ross. It's really cute. And then she got... Uh, this shirt that has this this at the back and she's a pretty modest young lady so she'll wear something underneath it so her back back isn't showing and then she has this and she saw it and it's so her and it says stay positive be happy live free she says oh, that is so me I was like okay it's yours. And then two pairs of shorts. And they're cute and modest shorts. Oop, pardon me. Which are hard to come by. So she got this pair. Just real simple. And you know, they don't have a lot of fade. There's no fading on it, which is really hard to come by. And so, and dark. That's hard to come by too. One solid color. At least by us it is. Okay, now that I just spoke about fading these do another pair and the front has the fading in it too they're both really cute she looks really cute in them at least her friend says so so that's what we got there so on with the the questions so i'm on number 23 23 have you ever been in a physical fight other than my brothers and maybe one of my cousins nah i usually make a joke or something and you know just the way it is never had a temper like that other than with my brothers my sister she was too little to get into physical fights with how can you fight with a baby that would be just so wrong anyway what's the biggest turn on for me mm. <laughs> leather and clove cigarettes don't know it's just like ooh. but nah that's it doesn't work anymore very much but that used to be um, I don't know, just a certain look. I could get just that look from my husband. It's like, ooh, um, don't ask. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Turn off um, negativeness and grumpy and mm, no, I can't deal with that. Just ugh, drives me crazy. The reason I joined YouTube, well, Transforming Melody and Spanky Cola they have this transformation Thursday and my faith is really important to me. And so I want it and I want, and so is getting healthy. And then, and it was a perfect combination for me. So that's why I joined it was mainly to share my faith and how God is transforming me. And so that's how I joined YouTube fears. I really don't have any major fears, nothing. My son was over in Iraq a couple times and I really wasn't fearful because I trust God. Um, that's just, I really don't have too many fears. Um, last thing that made you cry. Something my husband did, and it's been quite a while ago. It really hurt my feelings. And yeah. And that doesn't happen very often. I think the last time before that was long time before then, like years. Um, last time you said you love someone. I think last night. Or it might have been this morning. It was it either my son last night or my husband this morning? Meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, I'm a music teacher and I'm a mom. Music mom. Last book you read. Hmm. 
finished a book, finished a book. Let me see. The Help. Oh, good book. Good book. I haven't seen the movie, but the book was good. Uh, last show you watched. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Maybe the news. That's pathetic. Last person you talked to. The two girls that were just in this vehicle and then we moved on to the next door and they're inside. So my daughter and her friend. The relationship you ha between you and the person you last texted. I think it was my husband. My favorite food. <laughs> All food. Um, I really love Italian food. I mean, I really like food. It likes me. It sticks around. Place you want to visit. Mm. Ireland, Australia, Germany, Denmark, of course the Holy Land, Rome. Last place you were. <laughs> Ross, do you have a crush on my hubby? Love him dearly. Last time you kissed someone, my husband today. The last time you were insulted. Mm, I don't know, I brush them off, so it's hard to remember. Favorite flavor of sweet. Oh, by the way, insults. My family is a very sarcastic family. So we throw out insults in a sarcastic way, but it's not, it's, Okay, it's really bad. If people don't understand my family, they would probably be very offended. But we, it's bad. Hey, my dad called me Wart with Hair. That was my nickname. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, insults probably, but in regularly, but insults, insults, I don't remember. Ah, favorite flavor of sweet? Any? All of them? Seriously? What instruments do you play? Okay. Piano, organ, guitar, voice is my main instrument, so I'm a professional opera singer or art singer. Um, a little bit of flute, a little bit of, well, basically a little bit of all of them because I have to. So those are my main ones. Uh, and composing. That's hard. Uh, favorite piece of jewelry? My wedding ring and my grandmother's engagement ring and my engagement ring. Last sport you played? Foursquare, I think yesterday? Or volleyball? I can't remember which one. Last song you sang? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Just sang it not too long ago, actually, and I sang it again. Uh, favorite chat up line. Hi there. That's all. Hi there. Have I ever used it? Yes. Last time you hang out with anyone. I'm doing it right now. I'm hanging out with my daughter. I know. It looks like it. I'm doing a YouTube video. Yeah, I stop and I go in and see what they're doing and then we hang out and yeah. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to hang up this tag video and going to go in there. So who should answer these questions yet? Well, these tag questions have been around a long time. If you haven't done it, you're a tag. So have fun. Answer these questions. We'd love to learn more about you. And if you do, please put it a uh, note in my uh, below my video so that I know that you've done this because I'd love to see it and learn more about you. Uh, like, subscribe, and have a great day. And oh, please leave a comment. Have a great day. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you. Until we meet again, bye-bye.